Welcome to Asian Kitchen in Berlin. This is Rashmi and today we are making the Bisi Bele Pat which literally translates to hot lentil rice. This dish is a wholesome one pot meal that is said to have originated in the royal kitchens of the Mysore dynasty in southern India. To make the Bisi Bele Pat we need some rice, lentils, veggies and an aromatic spice blend. some split chickpeas or chana dal urad dal desiccated coconut coriander seeds cumin seeds mustard seeds fenugreek seeds sesame seeds around 10 to 15 cloves poppy seeds some salt turmeric some dried red chilies hing or asafoetida cinnamon stick and then some curry leaves Additionally to flavor our dish I'll be using some tamarind jaggery cashews oil or ghee When the royal recipe was made it was basically a no onion no garlic no veggie dish but we would like to add some nutrition into our dish so that is why I have some veggies here so today I'll be adding some tomatoes onions beans peas carrot and potatoes You could always add other veggies of your choice. Let us begin by making the spice blend. On a hot pan, I'm going to start roasting the lentils. So I am using the chickpea lentils first. Then the black gram or the urad dal. Keep stirring it so that it doesn't burn. You need to roast it until it turns slightly golden. Once these lentils have toasted and they've turned light brown, I'm going to transfer this to a bowl for cooling. Into the same pan, I'll now add some coriander seeds, cumin seeds, mustard seeds, and fenugreek seeds. I'm also going to add some cloves and some cinnamon. Once you get the aroma of the coriander, you transfer it to the bowl for cooling. Now I'm going to switch off the flame and finally add some sesame seeds, poppy seeds, and desiccated coconut. I'm going to dry roast them in the heat of the pan. Be careful during this. because you don't want to burn the coconut or the seeds once the coconut is toasted i am going to transfer the whole thing into our bowl for cooling again finally i am going to add a teaspoon of oil into the pan and i shall add some red chilies into the pan All the other ingredients does not require any oil as such but when you roast these red chilies in the oil you get a dif- distinct aroma <coughs> Once the chilies have browned I'm going to transfer it to this bowl Once the spices have cooled down I'm going to add all of this into a blender. I'm also going to add some dried curry leaves, a pinch of hing or asafoetida, some turmeric and some salt. I shall grind all of this into a coarse powder. And here we have it the aromatic spice blend for making the bisi bele bath so if you do have access to this powder from your local indian grocery store you can skip this entire process of making the powder but i would always suggest you to make freshly ground spice mix first i'm going to add some hot water into this dried tamarind so that it gives enough time for the tamarind to soak in just add 
half a liter of water. Once the water starts boiling, I'm going to add all the veggies into the pot. Let us add some salt and turmeric. And let the veggies boil for around 10 minutes. Once the vegetables are half done, I'm going to add the cooked dal into the mix. The lentil that I've used in this recipe are these split pigeon peas, but you could always use the lentil that you have in hand. Once this mixture comes to a boil, I'm going to add the cooked rice into it. Then some jaggery, you could always replace it with some raw sugar or plain sugar. Now I'll add some strained tamarind juice that we prepared in the beginning of the recipe. The quantity depends on how tart you want the recipe to be. And finally, I'm adding the freshly blended spice mix. The quantity again depends on how pungent and spicy and aromatic you want it to be. Give it all a good mix and let it boil for another 5 to 10 minutes. Once the dish thickens and comes together, let us top it with some ghee. And there you have it. The bisibele bath is ready. Now I'll just take it into a serving bowl. To make our dish more royal, let us add a final touch of tempering. So in a small wok, I'm going to take in a huge heap of ghee. Once the ghee heats up and melts, I'm going to add a teaspoon of mustard seeds and some urad dal or black gram. I'm also going to add cashews into the mix now. A generous pinch of hing. And finally, I'm going to add some curry leaves into this. Once the cashews, lentils have turned brown, stop the flame. I'm going to garnish. Today I'm going to serve this with some kara bundi, which is basically deep fried chickpea batter for that extra crunch and some fresh yogurt. And there you go. If you've enjoyed this recipe, do like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to Asian Kitchen in Berlin. See you next time in another recipe video. Bye!